Welcome, friends. All right, and welcome back to what is probably go well. It's going to be the conclusion of Final Fantasy VI. Uh, just as a recap, between episodes, the last one and this one, I did level everyone up to around between 78 and 85, and I leveled up the majority of their magic. Um, I did most of the leveling in the dinosaur forest. I got a second growth egg from. Coliseum, you trade in the item the Emperor gave you way back in the World of Balance. And then there's a forest near the Upper Jador? Miranda. There's a desert near Miranda with Coctor in it that give 10 AP per kill. Uh, so I leveled my magic up there. And I got some Magicite that I didn't have before. Gilgamesh from the Colosseum, Coctor from that desert, and Leviathan from the ocean. These are new to the Steam version. These were not in the original. But. So I have all the Magicite except for two. One I think is new to Steam. I don't remember the other one. If that's new as well or not. But anyway. So, we're gonna make an attempt. I didn't get any super gear or anything like that for anyone. They're kind of equipped with what I could get. What's that do? What's Master Scroll do? Attack four times, that's right. Also known as the Offering in the SNES version. So what's going to happen is, we're going to go to Kefka's Tower, and it's going to split us up into three teams. So let's go right to it. There it is. Let's go. Let's see what... Let's see if we can do this at our current level. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Let's go now. How do I get there? There we go. It's time we took the battle to Kepka's doorstep. What's wrong? The gods of the Warring Triad control the magic of the Esper world. If we destroy them, you're worried about what might happen? I'm not sure, but Esper's and even magic itself could vanish from the world. That means Terra, too. And if that happens, what'll happen to Terra? Alright, so each party, so Edgar's gonna be the leader of one, Sabin the other, and Celeste the other. Because they're the strongest. Um, we'll put Locke and her together. So these are our... So each person gets a mage. And then each person will get... A fighter. three left. Uh, Setzer can go with them. And Gogo. -Go. Or, uh, yeah, Gogo. -Go. Let's balance as we can. So Celeste's party is not going to fight because they got mob. They'll just fight bosses. Alright, let's go. It's been a long time since I've... 
Uh, been here. See, we hit like trucks now. I also made sure to, I min-maxed everyone as much as I could by, uh, like for example, I got his strength up high, her magic up high, his strength. I think I got both of his because I didn't I didn't know what he used. Magic or oh wait, they need Espers. They don't need Espers, but who cares? I'm not gonna summon any Espers. Uh so you use the Espers when you're leveling, and they give you bonuses as you level. going well so far. Nothing too scary yet. Even though these monsters look pretty scary. Oh, perfect! It's his best weapon. Potentially his best weapon in the game. So the way his dice work, it's low attack power, but if he hits high, rolls high, uh, it does a lot of damage. Cool dragon. Oh, there's also. I also killed. Uh, what the hell? There's more than one back there. I also killed um all the dragons I could, which means um there's two left and they're on here. I think. See? I think the dragon, I think there's two on here. And then what you're supposed to do... Uh, okay, I need to switch. Um, from what I've read... Is... There's a dragon island you can go to. And then kill the dragon, or the... Kill the Kaiser dragon, and then that's how you get like the last Esper, and all their ultimate gear is in there. And I gave, um... Go go blitz tools and magic. So he should be pretty good. Minerva Buster. Give you an earring. Oh, I don't have any. Probably equip. Oh! Yeah, okay, you can have that since you're a mage. Sure. 
these enemies aren't really doing anything scary, so we just have to worry about the bounty of bosses that we run into on here. Oh, I should have... I don't think I rested. He's... He's got, uh... strago has got half the magic. I must not have rested him after we leveled. Damn it. Hurry up. seconds oh fuck that oh strago learned doom great So here is, if you remember way back when we did the Magitech research facility, this was the boss I thought was there, not here. I am known as Ultima, forged an eternity ago, forgotten in the mists of time. Long have I pondered what I should do. Long, long have I pondered. But now it seems I have an answer. Those gears are turning. No, I didn't screw that up! Strago's MP. Oh, oh, I thought that's 7,000. Alright, I think we're gonna be alright with these bosses. This game is easier than the Super Nintendo one. It's gotta be. Strago some magic back. Let's double back real quick as well. Don't kill him. Oh, that's so stupid. Again, if you've watched before, I hate moves that do that. That's so cheap. Like, it's not even, like, it doesn't make it difficult. It just fucks you over. For no reason. What's up? I just wanna check what's up here. Is kind of froze there for a second. That's a throwing star for uh, Shadow. Don't 
eye for an eye. What a dumb skill. What a dumb thing to do. Fucking eat that. Yep. And it doesn't miss either. What a dumb, stupid fucking skill that is. Hopefully we don't see them again. These are interesting. <laughs> that looks <laughs> enemy so small. Why did he attack there? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you son of a bitch. At least we didn't fight those samurai again. Alright, let's not fall for that again. Cool dragon, Marlboro. Fucking behemoth. Behemoth daddy. There's one of the dragons. You don't look like a dragon. You look like a brontosaurus. Can't fool me. You're dead when Cyan gets his turn. Or before. Crystal Orb. 
Is that the thing that makes magic cost one? Oh, nope. Boost maximum MP by 50%. Because those, um... The brontosauruses in the dinosaur forest, they drop an item. Get what it's called. And it makes it so all your magic costs only 1 MP. So you combine that with the dual cast, which you get from Zozo's tower, which I did off stream, so you can just spam Ultima over and over again. So I can't do this yet. Let's check, because uh, we missed a uh, turn off. Back here. Let's just check it before. Ooh, hello. Got all the freakies here. And it's also cool because uh, this is Vector, which used to be the capital. So it's built out of parts of the capital city. And you'll see parts in here that are from Vector, like this throne room and stuff. Saving. We'll just put him back to the end of his path. So Saban's fought two bosses. Saban's team so far. him over to where we were, have him sit on the switch, and then we'll switch back to Edgar's team. Oh, don't shave my life, dude! Oh, that wasn't that bad. Why do you get two turns?! See, like, this is very much Vector. Oh, what's that four-ton thing up there? I don't think I want to be standing on that thing. Alright. And remember this? This is the Magicite, uh, factory. Uh-oh. Where'd she go? Level halved. Just for this battle, I hope. Oh, alright. A lot of instant fucking death. Mechanics in here. Wish I'd brought more. I didn't think I'd need that many Phoenix Downs. I guess I do have magic, but.
What is that? Why is that chest glowing? Do I need to run Saban all the way back? I need to run Saban all the way back, don't I? God damn it. Get all the fights out of the way, because Celeste's group's not gonna fight anything, so. Strago learns Shuriken. Should probably have Gogo -Go use auto crossbow. See if that does na 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 na. So close. These are chocobos, aren't they? Isn't that what a chocobo is? Yellow with uh, bird legs? Can Doom not take fucking eight years to cast, please? We have timers on us. We're gonna die, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Saban's gonna die. Tempest is gonna take 10 years. Oh no! Live, Saban, live! Yes. Fuck you, game. Oh, that's not... Well, shit. It's not Sabin's chest. That's good. It's Celeste's chest. Nope. Alright. You got me, game. Back again we go! Gogo's so overpowered. Is the other thing you can do with Gogo, and correct me if I'm wrong, his basic mimic command will mimic whatever the last person, whoever attacked before him used. So Saban bum rush and then mimic, or Gogo used his mimic skill, he would bum rush. If Strago cast Fear 2, Fire 2 I mean. And then Gogo went next, Gogo would cast Fire 2. So, if you partner him with Celeste, who I have hitting eight times, I think he then hits eight times the same way. So Gogo is very powerful. The only downside to Gogo is you can't manipulate how he levels like you can with the others, with uh, Espers. Alright, let's finally get to. Oh, no sprint shoes. And of course, I don't have any sprint shoes. Does someone have two pairs on? Sprint. Yep, alright. Alright, problem solved. I could just de-equip one of them with it when I switch teams as well, but... Uh... Sure. Where are the sprints? Sprint. Sure. So 
this is just gonna be a matter of getting places. Do a little more exploring. Wait. Sure, we get and do everything. Nutkin suit, gauntlet. We got the nutkin. Uh, nope, can't sneak past there. All right, is that everywhere? I think we can go at the moment. You can go that way. It's just gonna bring us to that part we just were, weren't we? I'm spamming that. Jump! Oh, that's... I thought that was Celeste who had that. He dead. So, uh, let me just double check. Not that it matters, but. Oh, uh, just takes it right back. So, yeah, Celeste is a fucking beast. Thanks to the Ultima weapon. Last dragon. Now that's a dragon. Bone dragon. Well, <laughs> sucks to be you. And if I had got the Illuminati sword or whatever it's called, I can't remember what it's called. If you trade the Ragnar. If when the guy asks you if you want the Ragnarok Esper of the sword, the Eightfold Seal is broken. So this is new to the Steam version. Crusader Magisite. Small stone tablet on the ground. On its face is a short inscription. The seal is broken and I am free. You have defeated the legendary eight. I shall await you at the dragon's horn. Oh. We're not going to be seeing that. Not in this one, anyway. Rainbow brush. What could that be for? And we got the Crusader. Oh, we already learned all its spells already. So this I assume is going to take us to the opposite side of uh, Saban's team.
All right, so two dragons are down and two mid bosses are down. We have th uh, three big bosses, the statues to go, and Kefka. I don't think there's any other bosses other than... I do remember a robot boss now. Maybe I'm thinking incorrectly. Oh, this enemy's putting up a fight! Celeste is going to go down the middle. Oh, I already did that. Oh yeah, here's that boss I was just talking about. It's an ED209. It's actually not what I want you to do. Oh, he's dead. That's how I used to play this game back in the day, with that combo, but with that uh, Illuminati sword or whatever. Did I ever finish that thought? To get that other sword, you, when he offers you the Ragnarok sword or Magicite, you get the sword, then you bet the sword uh, in the auction house and you get it. And then I usually have that in the Ultima Weapon equipped. Shit. This is the one of the statues. I, I just ran into it by accident. Oh, let's see how he stands up to this. Oh, he lived. Oh, oh. He's dead, because I can't attack. Alright, one of the main bosses down. And Ma got a new spear. not jump down the hole just yet. Let's get everyone in position before we drop down the hole. Oh, that actually fucked us up pretty good. He's dead. Wow, good work. Something? 
what I miss? your gamma rays. Oh, another statue, boss. Is this, I think this one's Doom. Glowing. Bean's aura is trembling. He's gonna go for shadow. He's gonna do something. Just press the attack. Oh. I should have her cast some magic. What am I doing? Oh, Alright, never mind. Here I thought I wouldn't, I wasn't leveled or uh, equipped well. I thought it'd be a lot more challenging than this. This, it's gotta be, I gotta look into that. This game has gotta be uh, easier on Steam than the Super Nintendo version. Dice. What did that do? She need to. Oh wait, is that a uh, here? Oh, it is, okay. Oh, nope, don't want to do that. Alright. One more statue and then Kefka, I think. Oh, that didn't do a lot of damage. Uh oh. This could really fuck someone up. This could be really bad. Alright, that, uh, that'll wipe him out at least. That was almost terrible. Fuck in my oh. All right, the goddess statue. Cyan, if she's not already dead, she will be. There we go, she's dead. Oh! What? Eat! 
easy. Excalibur. You had to use Excalibur. You had to buy Excalibur from the auction house and then bet it. We destroyed the Warren Tribe, but the power of magic isn't fading like it should be. Could Kefka have extracted the very source of magic from them? You get the Excalibur from the auction house and you bet it at the uh, arena and then you fight Gilgamesh and that's how you get his uh... Oh wait, no. Who am I looking for? You. Oh, more damage? I don't mind if I do. Alright, here we go. Never mind. Oh, good. We had to get one last screw job on us. Oh, nice. That's a good sign. Alright, who's ready for one of the most epic boss battles? Music, the fight, everything about this is great. It's a shame Gao and Yumero aren't here to see it. Welcome, friends! I knew you'd come, so I've been practicing my greeting. How much do you have to destroy before you'll have had your fill, Kefka? I've acquired the ultimate power. Observe. I'm glad they didn't make that text hard to read. Such magnificent power. You're nothing more than fleas compared to me now. Embrace your destruction. It is the fate of all things. Keep in mind, we haven't seen Kefka since the floating continent in the world of balance. To be destroyed? Maybe it is. But people can always rebuild, and new lives will always be born. Here comes his Thanos plot twist, and time will destroy all those as well. Why do people insist on creating things that will inevitably be destroyed? Why do people cling to life knowing that they must someday die, knowing that none of it will have meant anything once they do? Because it's not the end that matters, it's knowing you have something to live for right now at this moment. Something you've worked for. Something that's worth protecting. As long as you have that, that's enough. And did you all find your somethings in this broken world that just won't die? Yes. So his Thanos plot twist is... He wanted to... He broke up the world, like Thanos wanted to wipe away half of it, and then he realizes, well, what the hell am I doing? Everyone needs to be erased. You've proven that. Just like Thanos is like, well, I guess I need eliminating 50% It's not enough. I gotta start over. So Kefka's asking what we found. Terra found love. Locke, a person worth protecting. Cyan found a wife and child who lives on within me. Shadow found friends and family. That's Realm, his daughter. Edgar found a peaceful kingdom. Sabin found a loving brother who always looks out for me. <laughs> Celeste found someone willing to accept me for who I am. That's Locke. Strago found an adorable little granddaughter. He found her before the world of ruin, but... 
Rum found an obnoxious grandpa who couldn't live without, who I couldn't live without. Setzer found wings from a dear old friend. Mog found new pals, Koopo. What about Gao Numero? Blech, you people make me sick. You sound like lines from a self-help book. If that's how it's gonna be, I'll snuff them all out. Every last one of your sickening happy little reasons for living. No, Kefka, stop! I wield the greatest power in existence. You may as well be the dirt on the bottom of my boots, or the dirt stuck to the bottom of that dirt. I'll destroy everything. I'll create my own empire of death. You can't destroy everything. People will always have dreams. No, I'll destroy the entire world. There won't be anything left to dream about. We won't let you hurt any more people. Hee hee hee. But what fun is destruction if no precious lives are lost? You just hit nothing there. Oh, so it just goes right into it. No preamble. So, basically... If this is different than picking um, groups of three. You're picking an order, a battle order. So when someone dies, uh, the next person in the line will replace them. So I'm just gonna start out strong. Save some strong ones for the end. Just in case. Go goes the anchor. So, for example, these are the first four that are gonna start. If one of these four die, Shadow goes in. Then Terror goes in. Strago goes in. But I have a feeling these first four are gonna fucking wreck house. But this boss fight's awesome. Music in it all. It's great. Oh, he's got dual cast? So he's gonna dual cast heal and ultima. Everyone to full health and then blast them with Ultima. Because I want Celeste at full health. There goes one body part. That's why I want her at full health. Phase. How absurd is this fight? Now, are those all interpretations of Kefka?
I think we've got this one. Ten hit combo. Don't hit Celeste. We need her as much health so that she can do a lot of damage. I think they're all... Oh, maybe not. I thought it was dead. And it was doing all of its, uh, death moves. There we go. I love this boss fight. Ultimate Kefka. Powered as hell. Oh, that's cheap. And he can't even restore him. He just gets replaced with Shadow. This is it. The end. He has one move that we have to be careful of, no matter what our level is. I can't remember if he starts off with it or not. The god, Kefka. The dual winged angel. Life. Dreams. Hope. Where do they come from, and where do they go? Such meaningless things. I'll destroy them all. draws near. I think, is this it? I wonder if we can kill him before he does it. Oh, we did. So he has a, a spell that brings everyone's health down to one. But we fucking smoked him. We went in there very over leveled. I spent a good five hours leveling. Really took the challenge out of it. The tower's collapsing. Oh, there they are. Why would you come on here? You were on the airship. There's no time to lose. Come on, the airship's just ahead. They just. Why would they... Come on, everybody. We can make it if we work together. Tara, what's wrong? Magicite's disappearing. Magicite. Magic is disappearing. If espers are fading from the world now, 
What'll happen to Terra? Come with me. I can I can use the last of my power to guide you out. Now this is the great a great ending. Way to do the ending. And you'll notice something about this ending. There's always the same four characters in every scene. Sabin, Edgar, Celeste, and uh Setzer. Because those are the only four you have to get. This is a great way to do an epilogue. Like it's a story. Cyan as Cyan Garamonde. So I'm just gonna disappear from this so you can enjoy the ending without my face.
right, here we go. Follow me. The last piece of magicite. Tara, you've done enough. Your power's waning. There it I always wondered, does Shadow commit suicide? Is that the point of that? Is it going down with it? Terra isn't going to be able to hold out much longer. Those are Terra's kids. Adopted kids. Don't give up, Katarin. I won't either. Yeah, see, Shadow's not there. He is Yumera, though. Not yet. Terra. Terra. Thank you, Setzer. I told you, didn't I? She's the fastest ship in the world. And that's it. The ending to my favorite Final Fantasy game. One of my favorite games of all time. A little sad there at the end with Shadow Committing Suicide and all, but... Uh, and I like how they do the ending. Where it's just little vignettes of each character leaving the island and bonding. looks a little better but uh yeah we'll let the credits play and I'll come back with uh, some final thoughts that this is all very new to me this is not what the uh, Super Nintendo ending looks like it's just in the clouds I think that's in the Super Nintendo or it's doing that with the clouds I can't remember Size of those birds. Fucking vultures. Or pterodactyl. Keeping up with our airship. I'm 
might put the controller down because I'm afraid to hit a button. updated Shot looks a little goofy. Just of the uh, basket part, the part where the people stand. The balloon looks awesome. Gave birth. And it's playing the uh, Final Fantasy theme. This doesn't happen in the Super Nintendo version either. That I can remember. the house that burned down in the world of balance. Don't be so shocked, Edgar. Remember that time you were... You said you'd wait till she's 18? You fucking... Super Nintendo version, I don't remember.
that definitely is. The end. We did it. Nope. Save. Sure. New game plus mode. What the hell? Starts you as Setzer? On the Falcon? Oh, everyone's already on board, maybe? Let's just quickly... Nope. Fuck. Let's quickly see what, uh... What that is real quick. So we're in the world of ruin. Okay, yeah, everyone's here. Alright. Storm kept this tower of rubble. Alright. So, that brings us to the end of Final Fantasy VI. As I've said already before, uh, Final Fantasy VI is my uh, favorite Final Fantasy game. It's probably my favorite RPG, and it might be my favorite game ever made. Um, it has its flaws, sure. And a lot of that is probably nostalgia, sure. But it is, I think it's got everything. It's got difficulty. Well, the Super Nintendo one had difficulty. This one didn't really have any of that. Um, great characters, huge cast, lots of secrets, fun leveling, fun everything system. Perfect, perfect game, in my opinion. Um, as to how I think this version of that game is, uh, I think it is, it's all right. I wasn't disappointed. I got used to the pixels. I think the pixel monsters were great. Like, the overall enhancements to the graphics, I think, were great. Characters took some getting used to, but... I think I, I think I liked it overall. I didn't really do a lot of the extra content, like that extra uh, dragon dungeon that opened up at the end there that I didn't do, but... And you get ultimate weapons and stuff in there, but you don't really need them, obviously. So, that stuff's cool. Um, I probably still do prefer the Super Nintendo one, and again, that is probably 100% due to the nostalgia. But, that brings us to the end of our Final Fantasy VI playthrough. I thank you for watching. If you liked any of this content, please consider subscribing down below, leaving a like, leave a comment. What's your final fan favorite Final Fantasy game? Probably most of you are gonna say seven. Seven's overrated. And that it is still probably top five, but it's not the best. Final Fantasy VI is the best. Final Fantasy Tactics is the best. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you had a, a good time. Um, and I hope to see you in our next adventure. Take care.